Hey guys, and today I'm going to be doing my very first Owl Crate unboxing. I'm way too excited for this. So there is this couple that have created this monthly where book lovers can go and subscribe to a new book every month. And with the new book every month, you get a theme. For January, for instance, theme is magic. With this box, you will get other cute little things that they have collaborated with amazing cute brands. It's such an amazing idea. I've been following them ever since they have opened their own little business, but I have finally been able to order my very own first Owl Crate box. So I'm so happy to be able to start doing this. As you can tell, the first theme, as I said, is magic and I couldn't have started it with any other theme better. Not only is it magic, but apparently this box is specifically aimed at people who love Harry Potter. Here is the box. You have the brand's name on the front and then you have their slogan on the bottom which says magical monthly reads. Seriously guys, if you love books and you have the money to do this, go ahead and do it. I know the shipping's quite expensive to get it to the UK. I should have brought some scissors with me because I'm not sure I'm going to be able to get into this. Nope. Let's get my trusty nail clippers. I'm so excited, I'm so excited, so, so, so excited! Yeah. I've wanted one of these so, 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 so long. Anyway, so opening it up. <gasps> oh my gosh, oh my gosh, no, no, no way. I don't want to look too much into this, but as you can see, there is a Funko Pop in there. I've got this card, it's basically the Owl Crate logo, but in kind of a magical design. And on this card, it basically says what everything's in here. I'm not going to, I don't want to read it because I just want to show you as I pick them out. So it's January 2016 and it's the magic box. So that is the cute little welcome card to the magic box of this month. And in here, first of all, is... Oh my gosh! <laughs> so I have the Harry Potter vinyl um, pop with this box. Oh my gosh, I do not have any um, Harry Potter vinyls, vinyl Funko Pops, so that is just perfect. I really want Luna, I, I'm gonna have to go purchase Luna now, and I know my sister will want Hermione Granger. There's the Funko Pop Harry! <laughs> ah! We have a white chocolate mint, wow that sounds interesting, lip balm, and it's called Patronus. Oh my gosh, I'm just gonna have to put this down so I can show you. Me being an absolute makeup addict, it's kind of perfect. <laughs> I've got a lip balm and it says Patronus with an owl on it. Absolute love. Oh, geek overload here. <laughs> this is made by the, it's an Etsy company, geekfirelabs.etsy.com. I will link all the things where you can get these separately from. The next thing we have in here is a bookmark. It says on it, she wasn't interested in telling other people's futures. She was interested in going out and finding her own. I know this quote, where's it from? The Raven Boys, oh my gosh. Yes, okay, that is a cute little bookmark. I actually really like that bookmark. It's a good bookmark. Okay, so they've given us a promotion code to for this ebook company and the book that you can get, I'm not sure if you can get for the book for free. I'm not entirely sure, but you get a discount, I think. Okay, now maybe it is free. Maybe the first one's free and then after that you pay $3.99. The original price is $6.99 for the ebook. So, yeah. Robin McKinley are not in the green stories. So there's that. You could rattle the stars, she whispered. You could do anything if only you dared. And deep down, you know it too. That's what saves you most. Throne of Glass. I knew I recognised that. Oh my gosh! Another series that I've just recently started reading, I'm reading kind of two series at the same time at the minute, that's from The Throne of Glass, it's a beautiful card with a quote by Sarah J Maas. Last but not least, the book of the month. An ingenious premise and a richly drawn cast of characters make for an eerie and compelling story. The fantastical origin story of the Bronte siblings. <gasps> oh my gosh, wow! Ah, oh, this is just exciting. What have we got under here? We've got something else here. So there's a dress up uh, 
um, cut out cardboard. So I have this lovely note slash letter here. Oh my gosh, it's a letter from the author. Oh my gosh. This is the book, Worlds of Ink and Shadow. I have not, I don't, I've yet, yeah, I've not heard of this and I know who would absolutely love this because she loves the Bronte sisters. My sister would love this for Claire and she's definitely gonna love this. <laughs> Are there wicked things, not human, which envy human bliss? Charlotte Bronte. I love how the chapters are like, with their names. Legend, the Legends um, trilogy is like that as well. That is the book, guys. I'm excited. <sighs> Worlds of Ink and Shadow. That is the book. I'm gonna see if there's something on the front cover because I love it when they do that, which there's not. It's just purple. And then you've got the Worlds of Shadow. And the spine there. Do something on the front. I love it when you do that. There we go, guys. This Harry Potter vinyl there. I think there's, I think I'm more excited about this than the actual book. No, I am excited about the book. The fact that it's, you know, magic and based. It's a magic themed book, and it's based on the Bronte sisters. Like what? <laughs> I'm just gonna be holding this the whole time now. Next month is sci-fi love. Yeah, that's all we know so far. But that was the Owl Crate unboxing of January 2016 and I hope to open many more Owl Crate boxes if I can. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up, please subscribe to our channel and comment below anything you'd like, any comments, advice, whatever, any video ideas you want us to do. And yeah, that's it. I will see you guys next time.